What's up, everyone? This is Soji Talk, your weekly shot at K-pop. We are coming at you with the most super of specials, episode 250, and we are recording today on August 24th, 2023. I am Doug, and joining me today, we got Warren. Hey, what's up, everybody? And Anita. Hello. All right, I ain't going to read anything else today. Um, So it's episode 250th. It's our... Let's also, go. like a celebration of our fifth year, finishing our fifth year of doing the podcast. Oh my god! Um, this is the oh. end of season five of Soji Talk. Pretty much every year is a season for us, so we are going to be entering season six um, shortly. But absolutely insane. Um, the only announcements: if you listen to last week, you probably know what's going on. But if you are listening to this on release day on August twenty ninth, this is the mm-hmm. episode, the two hundred fiftieth episode special. We're not going to talk about any new releases or the news or anything like that. It's a more of like a meta episode. We're gonna pretty much reflect on season five, talk mm-hmm. about where we're going in season six, uh, things like that. Um, so it's not your typical episode. So if you just want to hear us talk about uh, the new releases, you're gonna have to wait a while because uh, the next three episodes on. <laughs> September 5th, 12th, and 19th, um, they're going to be live stream VODs. So we are taking a break. You know, we have a lot of things going on in our personal lives. Anita's relocating. I'm going on a vacation. Warren's going on a not overlapping vacation. So our break is pretty long, <laughs> right? Um, the schedule didn't yeah, line up. Yeah, yeah, it's rather unfortunate. Next, like, three, four weeks. So we're going to come back, though. So before we come back on September 26th, so September 5th, 12th and 19th, we're having live stream VODs. All of the live streams have already been filmed. Um, one of them is about XG. One of them is a catch-up episode where we talk about songs that we didn't cover previously. And what was the other one, Warren? The other one was Kiss, Kiss of, of Life. Life. Kiss of Life, yeah. yeah. So we have three live stream VODs. Our live streams are a lot more loosey-goosey, not as scripted. People say crazier things, so it should be a fun experience <laughs> no, you, for you all. You say crazier things. <laughs> yeah. You. The, if, you're, if, if you're an old head of Soji Talk, my, my inner hot take Harold. Oh, my the hot God. Takes comes out during live streams for some well, reason. That's, um, that's right, here, well, I haven't well, heard with, it in a while. <laughs> with the live stream VODs, the XG one is going to go out next week. Um, yep. The Kiss of Life, mm-hmm. that will also definitely be going out. The one that happened for catching up with older releases from this year that we didn't get to cover, that one, the, the stream got dropped a whole bunch of times throughout the, the, throughout oh, the no. thing because I had really poo-poo Wi-Fi that day. Um, so if that doesn't happen... It probably might not happen. We'll, we'll we'll just have to see what happens. You guys have to tune in. Um, and, yeah, and see we what might there. we might have to we might have to skip a week yeah. or something like that. But um, <laughs> on September twenty sixth, we will return with season six. We're going to be talking about potential changes. That's at the end of the episode today. But we will talk about season six and how we feel about so you talk going forward. Yep. Um, on a regular episode, we'd be doing big new releases now, but we are not today. Uh, so the first thing <laughs> we're going to be talking about is our general feelings about K-pop and the industry and the music. So the first question is, how does the crew feel about the music we review Ooh. lately? So more or less than season five. Um, I think season five has really been defined by new cheese. Girl group. <laughs> you can't yeah. say that. <laughs> it, it's true. It's, it's honestly for me. Can't deny. It's yeah. new jeans. And then, like, the BTS solo stuff, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. You're right. I would combine, like, those two things for me. And then, obviously, the emergence of certain newer groups, like I've, La Seraphim, have been popping off, right? Things like that. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. But yeah. um, for reference, episode 200, when we started this season, was the episode when we covered Cookie. Uh-huh. It was just at the beginning of right, the run. Right, right, right. New Jeans. Here we go. I remember episode mm-hmm. 200 or so. We covered New Jeans. We had the whole like episode 200 special or so. That yeah. ended up becoming one of our most listened to and viewed episodes um, of the entire season because of how many important things were on that episode. Um, True. So that does mark a big shift for season five, right? It's been um, mm-hmm. 50 weeks, 52 weeks, something like that since then. Um, yeah. A year? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. A it's, been, over it's, a, it's been over a year because episode 200 was dropped on August 3rd. 2022 okay yeah and then um wow. the big news story was Adam's contract was terminated by hype and in terms of oh, the wow. spice chart i mean the spice king spice chart new jeans attention picked up at second crown <laughs> they sees beautiful wow. monster was in second and at's gorilla was in third it's been a year since attention. it's been a year yeah <laughs> um if you think about the music that we like actually cover on the show right there's definitely been a shift mm-hmm. there's definitely been a shift i i 100 yeah um I personally feel 
like we're going through it's a little bit early to say but i think we're going to look back on last year and this year as a good era for music and k-pop you know what i mean it's been mm-hmm. great dude it's been yeah. great pops. Remember, yeah a lot of pops i remember like a couple years ago like like two or three years ago i was kind of getting not very excited about some of the releases you mm. know what i mean um yeah, yeah i i remember us saying that like 2021 and then the first half of 2022 we were like songs were okay right but like there wasn't anything super defining about 2022 until new jeans came up around i believe you know you know what it was you know what it was like i remember like writing the notes for the 2021 review and i was like i was kind i was really trying my hard <laughs> I, was, I was trying i was trying really hard to like word things really positively in terms of like, oh, like this year, this was great. And this year, that was great. Maybe that was 2020. I forget. But like, no, no, it's 2021. It I'm 21? looking at the, the songs that entered Hollow Spice in 2021. Yeah. It was like Butter, ASAP were like the two bigger ones. And then yeah. like okay. the feels. Yeah. I mean, there were those were definitely highlights. Don't get me wrong. But at the same and, time, I like as well. Yeah. I was definitely a lot less, a lot less excited about the Stuffy cover back then mm. versus these days so in terms of the topic we cover like the actual stuff we talk about on the show i'm a lot more engaged i'll be honest i don't know if it comes off that yeah. way i i agree like mm-hmm. okay i would say if we think m- mental health wise right <laughs> <laughs> um, 20, are you okay it, 20, i'm fine 2020 was like oh my god pandemic's here right oh man 2021 uh, was, was like is this shit ever yeah. gonna end right <laughs> 2022 oh, was yeah, like, yeah. all right, we're starting to get out of it, and like 2023 feels like, all right, this is the what life is like now, right? Like yeah. everything. Like, okay. Yeah. Right. That that's what it feels like to me. It follows along that line, right? Mm. Um, I would say I I spoke to Warren and Anita before the the episode started today, and I said on a personal level, when we started the podcast five years ago, I was really into K-pop. Um, for instance. I'm I'm a, I'm a let you I'm gonna let my stand stuff come out of the closet a little bit, right? Oh. At one point, I was like, re- I was very into Eyes One. I was like, you know, like yes. when you get into a group, you start saving the photos, right? Yeah. I had like a fear <laughs> that I would miss the good photos, you know. Oh, and no. At a certain point, it was stressing me out. You know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. I have, like, I still have my old folder of jury photos. Yeah, so yes, I was like, I was on the fan cafe refreshing all day, you know. Yeah, like, man, man. If I miss the good photo, like. And it, honestly, that was an unhealth, uh, on a healthy way to go about it, right? And I, after Eyes One, um, if you remember when we did the pod, one of our most successful episodes is that episode during the pandemic where I'm wondering if Eyes One's going to disband because of the rigging scandal, right? And oh, yeah, no. Yes, yes. And I was freaking out. And then eventually they didn't. They came back. They had a good second run, which was fine. It was awesome. Everyone was excited for that. But then um, once Eyes One disbanded, I was kind of lost. I didn't like, I was like, what do I listen to now, you know? My favorite group's mm-hmm. gone. Your and I, it took gone. me, I would say, like, six months to a year to, like, to like evolve as a K-pop listener. Now, with time, I'm older. I'm more casual than I've ever been in terms of K-pop. But honestly, Same. it's way more fun these days because I don't really got a horse in the game. I'm happy when people are doing well, when people are releasing Everybody, good music. Yeah, when yeah. anybody's doing well, it's yeah, great. Yeah, anyone releases a banger, I'm super happy about it. I'm excited. It gets me, it gets yes. me going. I want to check out what people are dropping. You know, and I think I think yeah, my yeah, relationship yeah. with K-pop has never been at a better spot. Great, Anita. Keep going. Come yeah, here. yeah. No, I definitely agree. I think I, I definitely got more casual a while ago, but I feel yeah. that even more so now. Um, like Warren mentioned, the everything that's coming out most recently with season five, I thought that there's been a huge shift in like sound and genres, and New Jeans has been a like a staple group that has kind of started that um, about a year ago. And I feel like it's so interesting to hear different things now that are not necessarily exclusively like pop, like super typical K-pop. I think we've talked about this before, how that typical K-pop sound maybe is not as prominent anymore, but it leaves room for a lot of different um, interpretations, like genres. Like I was thinking back to, Yena's um, Hate Rodrigo and like the 
that would I wouldn't expect that to be a release from a K-pop artist a while like five no. years ago. I wouldn't no. I wouldn't have said yeah, that. No. We we even spawned the whole genre of relatable music out of nowhere. Yes, you yes. Know? We say the word relatable mm. all the time now. We weren't saying that. Concepting, in sound four. wise, yep, right. yeah. Uh, that it, is absolutely crazy. I I feel like it's a little early to say, but. The one of the biggest trends of this year has been doing this bedroom, easy listening, mm-hmm. uh, chill K pop, and and honestly, it's working really, really well for me. Because while I enjoy mm. high energy pop music, the one that K pop has you know originally brought in and wasn't really known for, um, when you cover songs like that over and over and over again, a couple times a week. It gets a mm-hmm. little slow real quick. It was I'm that, and then the Dark Guy group songs over and over again. Well, right? even the Dark Guy songs yeah. were like, they had a sound, you know what I mean? Like, it was that okay. sound. Yeah. Um, and I think I approach it a different, a, a, a slightly different from you guys, right? Because, like, when we started the podcast five, six years ago, I was the one who, like, was the least into K-pop at that point. I was doing, because uh, I was oh, yeah. with you guys. I was the memes I would make was like uneducated kid. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> look at this general rapper man with pink hair. Um, now I can safely say I listen to a lot more K-pop than I did back in the day. I- I've definitely shifted. I don't know. It's, mm. I don't know when that shift. You know what? I think the shift has happened like last year or so. Like, um, yes, <laughs> right now I'm looking at my stats for Spotify and like, it's sitting you know, uh, in like basically tied with Korean R and B in second place for the most listened to genre in the last six months. Mm. So I, I think that definitely says something about kind of the the listening pattern I go through, which makes sense because like I'm looking at the songs I've been listening to this year. And it's like ETA, Better Things, Cake, Fast Forward is here. Um, like yes, both Fast of N mixes, summer releases. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I feel like K-pop true. now is way more approachable than it's ever. It's like as more approachable than it's ever been. It's a lot more approachable. It's a lot more diverse, um, yep. to the yep. point where there it's a there's a lot more for us to like talk about as a as a content cre- creators, right? As, as people who talk about the music that we listen to, we have to like be like, oh well, this is unique and this in, in its own way, and oh, this is different and that different way from that other song, and it's a lot easier for us to do that. There's a lot more to talk about, whereas mm-hmm. a while back. Um, it was, I think, a lot more difficult for us to, like, kind of say stuff without overlapping on each other. Um, and mm-hmm. now we're, like, easily able to hit somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes per song in these episodes. Um, <laughs> Dude, yeah. we, used to, we used to struggle after writing bullet points. You remember? Like, we used to write all <laughs> those bullet points, dude. Oh, my God. Oh my there were so many bullet points. And it was so bad. Like, I didn't have enough to say. I would think like, oh my god, what do I what do I talk about now? I think now more than ever with a lot of these groups, there's just a lot of context, right? That that also needs mm-hmm. to be taught. Yeah. Uh, almost every song we talk about now, the last like five minutes is context. Like, what is this song doing for them? What does it mean for their yeah. company? Right. Where do what are, yeah. like where are they gonna go? How does this affect their album sales, their popularity, a, a potential world tour they're doing? Right. We talk about all this context now, and and it's it, it's I think. During the pandemic, obviously, there was almost no context, right? We're right. just, oh, I'm happy this group released yeah. this music video because they can't perform anywhere, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. And that, that was pretty much it. There was very little context with anything. No one was really debuting new groups all that often. Um, it's, a lot, it's a lot more fun now, I would say. And and honestly, like, on a pers- another personal level, I used to... The podcast used to stress me out. Terrible. <laughs> like, I'm being real. I know. It I know this. <laughs> so much stress. Because here, here, here's the reality of it. Um, like all interests you have in life, um, my interest in K-pop, you know, it ebbs and flows. Am I into it? Am I not into it? Imagine you have an interest that you you really do care for at the bo- end of the day that you like. But imagine someone said you have to talk about it for an hour and a half to two hours. Every week, regardless of how you feel about it this week, right? <laughs> it, it, it could be a struggle at times, for sure. And honestly, I feel like some of the episodes maybe in like season four, maybe season three, it, might, it probably reflected it, to, to be honest. And I, I, I feel bad about that. Um, okay. Now, I, I want to provide a little bit of context here because you, you, I, it, what I know about you as a friend, as a human being, I, I feel like you suffer, not suffer, suffer isn't the right word. You are, you lean harder into that aspect 
where you I'm have very flavor of the month about anything. I yes, guess. you have a <laughs> lot of different interests, and you cycle through them very frequently. Yeah, yeah. yeah like at yeah. one point you were collecting vinyls, and then a I couple of weeks them. later you were like for like six months, and then that was it. Right, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I was into watches for like six months. Yeah, yeah, and and, and then there's <laughs> then, like then these then like video it. games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so so I I think that's that's also a part of it. Um. And whenever something gets a little repetitive, you I get that, turned off real quick. Right, 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 right. Um, and that's where the, the the thing I mentioned earlier, like where we hear a lot more diversity and sound these days. Yeah, that's I think that's here. definitely helped you a lot in terms of like mm-hmm. maintaining it's interest. Also, back in the day when I was in the thick of it as a K-pop fan, right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, when you're really into it and you're reading things that people on like Reddit and Twitter are saying all the time, a lot of it's actually pretty negative, right? Um, okay, yeah, let's, it let's could be. yeah, let's talk about the online community for a second because people on Reddit, people on Twitter, they do a really good job of masking something really fucking negative as positive. Yeah, yeah, like they'll be like, "Oh, I am so worried about this because I." I'm really concerned about them and it's like something really toxic about like the way they look or like oh um or they're comparing them to someone else even on our own level like it like I don't like no one likes criticism right like straight up no one likes criticism it could be hard there were times when like yeah I used to read and harp on every single comment someone made about the podcast or our opinions and things like that and like when someone would say like, "You guys are idiots," or like, "You're not <laughs> experts. Why do you even open your mouth?" You know, when someone said something like that, I was like, "Damn!" Like, you never said <laughs> <you're experts. laughs> oh, what the hell, dude? That's hurtful. And like it, I, back in the day, when I was a little like, I was pretty stressed with other things going on in life, and then I come home. I'm like, oh, I wonder how the episode did. And I read a comment like that. I'm like, why Why are we doing this? You know? But um, <laughs> with age and time, you learn to realize it don't it, it doesn't actually matter all too much, right? Uh, at the end of the day, I know we do the podcast for the listeners so that they could be informed about what's going on. But most podcasts, at the end of the day, you do it for yourself, right? I want to talk to my friends. Yes. I want to share uh, what I know about this genre, things like that. And that's what actually matters. But yeah, I remember when I was like not really into K-pop and I read someone saying like, you should never talk about this person. I'm like, God damn, <laughs> like, fine, you know, like, but um, I, I, I also think, yeah, as a, now that I'm older and I'm more casual and I've kind of um, distanced myself from really stan culture in general, mm. I'm just a more positive person about K-pop and it's a lot more fun. There was a I, I forget when it actually was, but there was a shift at some point where I started taking care of the comments in the YouTube, and you kind of sh- like yeah, dude, yeah, <laughs> you like logged out of YouTube on like unless you're like o- until you were like publishing the episodes every week, and like I think that's definitely helped you. Yeah, it's I, it's not that I'm uninformed about the comments. I just ask no. Warren, did anyone say something cool that I should know about? Right? And I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. I'll mm-hmm. let you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. filtered. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. for, yeah. For context, it, it, whenever people, whenever I reply to people, like the whenever the account replies to people on YouTube, it's like that's usually me. Ninety-five percent chance it's Warren. It's me. Yeah. It's me. Um, that being said, I usually I tend to go through every comment, like negative, positive, because like if it's negative, someone's got to hide it, 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 or or if it's Negative and constructive. Ne- right, mm-hmm. right. If it's constructive, I'll definitely keep it. If it's slightly pissed off, I'll still keep it too. Cause like, from yeah, my Warren, perspective, right? Like, Warren's saying when it's just like nasty and not adding anything, that's when we gotta hide it or remove it or whatever. Why yeah. Mean? These days, the way I see it, like we 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 I don't know make content on on the internet. Having a little bit of stupidly angry comments, I think, is a tax I'm having to I, I have to pay. That's I, I see that as hundred like, percent. Yeah, like that's unavoidable mm. to me in, in my head, and I don't think there's anything that I can do to avoid that. That's why I, I accept it, and 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 to a degree, that's the way internet works in general. Um, that's why that the that's why when I see those comments, I'm like not very like I don't know. I think I I think now that I look at it that way, I'm a lot less emotionally emotionally I don't know influenced affected i th- i think mm. a lot of the time it's also like let's put it this way yeah 
the 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 Stan Twitter person, right, is just so angry all the time about people talking bad about their group, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, we at Soju Talk have reached Nirvana with our feeling about K-pop. <laughs> we have reached <laughs> enlightenment. We are calm, cool, and collected about our relationship with K-pop, right? Oh, well, right. Okay. <laughs> or potentially relative to them. Okay. Relative to them. Okay. Right? Relative to I those folks. It, I think it yeah. just it and works the angry for us. Person yeah. Leaks over into our community and it says something really aggressive that they would say on Twitter or something, right? Mm. Yeah. And then it's just like for us who don't really go about it like that, we're just like, God damn, this person's like <laughs> going ham, right? <laughs> But at the same time, they don't realize, like, you know, we're chill about it. We don't really, you don't take it too seriously, right? Um, so yeah. I, I have to remind myself that once in a while. Yeah, that's true. Um, oh, something I also wanted to comment on, just talking in general about community and whatnot. Um, I feel like maybe in this past year, or maybe a little bit earlier than this past year, but I've noticed it more recently. Um, like, the the demographics of the audience, right, of listening audience of K-pop, at least in the U.S., I feel like has just widened so much. Oh, yeah. That I was noticing a lot, like, when we cover, like, music festivals or, like, tours and stuff like that in the U.S., um, I just feel like, wow, like, the, the audience that goes to these events is so broad now. Like, it's, it's very commonplace to find albums in stores now. Um, and to have like to like name name drop a group and the people who maybe are not like super super familiar they can like recognize it at least um i don't know i feel like i've i've felt that more this past year um same same and i don't know i think it's it can be good and i think it can be good because i guess then you get more people who are like 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 we mentioned like casual like they're not necessarily like and then, like, 100%, like, only one group, like, standing in that way. But I think it makes it for a different experience. So I think that's cool. For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I want to pivot that about K-pop communities. And, you know, our, our Discord has become a beast of its own. We're almost at 1,000 people, right? Um, wow. I was looking back and thinking <laughs> about how I feel about the Discord because we made it, I don't know, maybe four and a half years ago, something like that mm -hmm. at this point. Um, it's been a minute. The, the thing that's most memorable to me is, like, you know... It's a podcast. People come and go, right? I don't expect anyone to, like, for the people who stuck around for us with the long haul, I am eternally grateful for them. We see but, you. But, you know, people, they fall You're off of things. I think it's unreasonable to have the expectation that someone's going to listen to the same podcast for five years. I think that's, that's like, <laughs> if you're the exception, more power to you, right? But I don't think, like, that's everyone. Um, I think a lot of people listen to it for a while, they fall off, or they'll come back later or something like that. Um, I think about the Discord. I think about all the notable people that we used to talk to and hang out with that have like left. It makes me sad and it makes me happy <laughs> at the same time. You know, mm. it's a little sad mm. because like, man, I used to talk to that person three and a half years mm. ago, and I was listing some people that I remembered, and one was like, I haven't heard that name in two years, right? Okay. Um, Who that guy? What? But at the same time, I noticed in this year in season five, we gotten a lot of new people to come and engage yes. with us on there. I think it's really been cool Shout because now we have a mixture of people who have been around for the long haul. We got some newer people. We've been mixing more ideas, um, things like that. Mm. And I think that's been cool to see. I, I think the way yes. I see the Discord, right? It's not, I mean, it's it's, not, it's definitely not the biggest Discord in the world, but I think it's a, it's no. a, it's a, it's a, it's a good, like, community and a, a, a good shelter, right? Mm. Um, for people who need people to talk to about this topic. Um, sometimes you need that shelter. Sometimes you don't need it. You know, because situations change in your life. Come and go. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, while you're there, if you're having fun, I'm glad. If you're not, I, 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 I would like to fix that. So, you know, let me know. But on the other hand, and if you're and if you're lurking, more power to you because I know we have some <laughs> lurkers, and I, I, I respect you because I do lurk on some discords too. You know, um, and I, 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 a lot of people have stated the reason they stick around or they like our Discord is because we have like the news channel or the music video channel, so you're getting like up to the minute news and updates from all different sources mm. at the same time and Very i think true. people have really enjoyed that feature of our discord particularly and, and i really enjoy this is a little more personal but i really enjoy that it for the most part draws in people who think a little bit more similarly like it's a big community like anita mentioned earlier k-pop's definitely gone a lot more like mainstream the last like two years or mm -hmm. so um because the audience gets wider it's gonna attract a lot 
wider variety of people um, with right. who approach this community and genre very you know differently, um, and for the most part because the server is hooked or anchored onto our our us three, um, it mm -hmm. attracts people I think who kind of. Think similarly, right? Think similarly. They, they might, they definitely won't agree with us on a lot of the different topics we talk about. For sure, right? Um, but Which on the other fair. hand, yeah, right. We, I, I think it's a good place to talk about things. Um, Have conversations, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, and, I, I, and yeah. at the at, at the end of the day, we we try to throw out as large a net as possible with the podcast. But you know, with the relevance of grow groups lately, our community Ooh. this discourse <laughs> on the podcast is. <laughs> I'm really focused on girl groups, to to be completely honest with you. And I understand, as boy group fans, could be could get like a little angry that we don't cover it uh, as much. But our our what we've tried to do with the way we do the song polling and the choose the songs that we cover on the podcast is we try to cover what's most relevant to the industry and what people actually want us to talk about, um, mm -hmm. things like that. So sometimes I get it that certain groups get lost in the sauce all the time, but. I think it's just a side effect of us trying to cast as broad a net as possible. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Before we move on to talking about show specifics, interest and taste, how are they shifting as we are getting into our sixth year? I would say I've been excited that girl groups are doing well, but I am mm -hmm. really, um, I'm very intrigued by new boy groups like Rise and then born yes. next door oh, uh -huh. groups like that those interest me Most a lot recently, yeah because as i've said multiple times on the pod i think that the emergence of these new boy groups will shift the the actual shift of the industry you know i know we're in a girl group meta we're in the uh relatable music but i think mm -hmm. the real nail in the coffin will be when these boy groups emerge i mean you know like everything it's not going to be forever i think it's going to shift at some point i think we're kind of seeing to start to see that a little mm -hmm. bit Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we, we haven't really gotten the debut of Rise yet, but I mean, they're from SM. They're gonna do generally somewhat successfully. Um, um Boy Next mm -hmm. Door, um, ZB1, they sold two million albums of this their debut. Oh right, they did. Yeah, Boy. and that was that was a more mellow debut, not the dark, intense yeah. concept. Um, uh, yeah, well, yeah, we're seeing it. We're seeing it for sure. We're yeah, we're in I, the um. The, the mm -hmm. post BTS millet solo, like the post BTS <laughs> is a group era. I like they're still a group, but you know what I mean. Like the solo thing. Well, the yeah, thing. Are you yeah. saying yeah, yeah, they yeah. broke up? Are you saying they, they took a, They said oh, they said a musical hiatus as a group. I think is the way. They're they taking a hiatus. Is that? Mm. Well, we're in that era, you know, <laughs> yes, and that yes. completely coincides with the rise of like New Jeans, I've G Idol, things like that, right? Yeah. So we're mm -hmm. in this era right now, and I think the next layer to that is when these boy groups. Yep. Uh, yeah, I definitely agree. I think looking into the boy groups that are coming out most recently and I don't know, I think personally, I don't know if it's like the chicken or the egg thing, but I think I've also been listening to a lot of girl groups, but I think a lot of the girl groups we, we've covered, right, have been doing the bedroom pop, the more yeah. um, easy listening genre, right? So I feel like I, I was into that as well, so I, I don't know if one follow the other, but um, it'll be interesting to see if the boy group debuts um, shift anything, like if they continue with the general sound or if they do a twist on it. I don't know if it will be successful. We'll see. Mm. One other thing is um, in this current bedroom relatable era, it has gotten me to appreciate people like Dreamcatcher and I'll, I'll mention oh. X, XG here <laughs> a little bit more. Because they're palate cleansing uh, um, uh, a vast meta that we're seeing at the moment. Right? What do you mean? Elaborate, fair. elaborate. What do oh, you mean? I'm saying I hear bedroom song, relatable song, relatable song, bedroom song, Dreamcatcher comes on. I'm like, thank uh, God. We okay. got Dreamcatcher. Ah, and then I hear right. five more of those relatable songs. And then I hear an XG song. I'm like, thank God. <laughs> right yeah yeah it's it's basically what you said about quantum b a couple weeks ago right like she yeah. definitely has stayed with this more traditional k-pop sound 
if and you're doing it right, it works really well right It now. works really well right now. And for the music she kind of does, the way she images herself on, on public, I don't think she should do be- bedroom pop at all. I don't think she should do no, anything. It wouldn't work. Um, um, mm-hmm. Makes sense. Uh, the last thing I want to do about this part is the, the songs that entered the Hall of Spice in season oh. five. Oh. I'll list them. <laughs> okay. New Jean's Attention, I've After Like, Twice Talk That Talk, Crush featuring J-Hope Rush Hour, the Seraphim mm-hmm. Anti Fragile, Triple S Acid Angel from Asia Generation, New Jeans Ditto, yes. New Jeans OMG, wow. Billy Anoya, yes. 17 Super, Dreamcatcher Bomb Voyage, New Jeans Super Shy, New Jeans ETA. <laughs> we have too much New Jeans. Oh, so, yeah, those are the songs that entered the but, Hall of Spice. I mean, what right. can you say? They're bots. <laughs> Okay, oh, okay. I'm I'm looking at my I'm looking at my top tr- top tracks of all time on like my Spotify thing mm. right now. Number two is Attention by Two Jeans. There you go. <laughs> Number what seven can you Ditto. Do? <laughs> um, um. Okay. Uh. Let's get real meta now. Talking about like specific episodes that did well. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. In season five. <laughs> Hello, Soju Talk Nation. This is Anita here with a quick PSA. If you would like to support Soju Talk K-pop podcast, please like, subscribe, or follow us on whatever platform you're using. And consider joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash sojutalk or donating to us at paypal.me slash sojutalk. On behalf of the crew and myself, thank you. Now back to our regularly scheduled episode. Uh, let's get real meta now, talking about like specific episodes that did well, oh, right? Yeah, in yes. Season five, Warren, that's you. Um, lead us off. Okay, so I looked at our numbers. I looked at our stats. I don't. I don't want to get too mm. much detail into this because we did that last year. Um, so we'll probably do it next season. Um, but hey, first of all, we hit two thousand subscribers on YouTube. I- it's 2,000 hey. subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> we think we passed a million impressions during this last season, right? We're like fairly yeah. certain. I'm, I'm pretty confident we were, were around like 1.2 or 3-ish. Yeah, yeah. Um, It's a little hard to tell because our old analytics got goofed up. Um, If, if anything, the thing... Okay, so if, if you've been around for a while, around like season 2, 3, we had a gigantic influx of listeners from India because oh, yeah. we were featured on certain apps in India. Right. Yeah. Um, so yes, the crazy yes. thing about that, we had all these listenership from India. We we had almost no interaction with any Indian listeners, though. So it's we got. But if you're out there, numbers. say if hi. We're out there. We appreciate you, but we we <laughs> yes. barely interacted with you, right? Um, I almost and think. It's hard, yeah, that Like maybe like their platform had its own commenting feature. That's and, like, what I think it was. Right. Wow. Oh, dang it, we missed it. Yeah, but maybe? we we don't yeah. have access to any of that, like Deezer or Ghana or things like that. We don't have um yeah. access to that. But what you gotta know is that the 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 easiest way for us to measure our growth is like listeners, pretty much. Like outside of India, because our Indian numbers they've waned over time, right? Definitely, like they, yeah. They, they at one point we hit their algorithm super high and then it waned over time so the way we look at it is we looked at our numbers uh excluding india for a second here i don't i don't mean we don't like our indian listeners i'm just saying it's the easiest way for us no. to check our growth right right if right. we look at our numbers excluding the indian numbers we're actually on an upswing which is kind of crazy um considering podcasts have kind of really like plateaued real hard post covid i we did plateau as well but we've seen more subscribers, especially on YouTube. We're not hitting the algorithm once in a while. And mm-hmm. overall, a positive outlook. It's, it's a positive and stable growth, I, I think. Yeah. Um, I definitely agree with you. Uh, we have played t- plateaued a little bit. Um, but I am actually quite pleased that we like continue to see 100%. a little bit of growth here. Um, if yeah. you look back on the episodes from last season... Um, our most successful episode was episode 200, like I mentioned earlier. Um, it was the most uh, viewed on YouTube as the well as well as most downloaded on the audio version, um, which Ooh. makes sense. We covered New Jeans uh, all, as well as Yuju and 80s. Um, it was Yuju <laughs> Evening, 80s Gorilla, New Jeans Cookie. That was the one we mentioned earlier where Gotham's contract went, 
what Hybe uh, finally got terminated. Yep. That that one. And we had a whole like, hour long State of the Nation where he talked about Q and A's, um, all that. So I, that was ah. that still mm-hmm. is our like most most uh, it, it is our longest episode to date. Um, I think it sits out about yeah. like two and a half hours or so. Um, oh my, <laughs> which is way too long. Um, and then after that, our second uh, su- most successful was two hundred two, um, where we covered twice Ivan Blackpink. All big names, Girl right? Groups, yes. Um, uh, let me find the list real quick. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Two o two. We covered. Oh wow. Okay, we took a break there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we covered Blackpink, Pink Venom. I've after like twice talked that talk. Rocket Punch, Flash, Key, Gasoline, Billy, Ring My Bell. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was another mega episode. Um, yeah. After that, uh, a couple of the more popular ones was 233 on YouTube. That had a bit of a blow up. Um, 204 was also big as well. Uh, 204 recovered Blackpink, NCT 127, and Nmix. I think that mm. was when Anita and I had... Oh, the Ramble Fest? <laughs> that was our first Ramble Fest without Doug. Where, <laughs> remember I had like slides ready for like Nmix and yes. their like, stupid song structure? <laughs> um, that was that was a weird episode. That was uh, that weirdly was successful. Good. Um, that one, that one had Blackpink shutdown, NCT 127, two baddies, and mixed dice. So, yep, that's yep. a lot of stuff. And then Isuman's contract uh, was terminated with SM on that episode. Oh, wow. Really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. That was a while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the more recent weeks, we had uh, episode 248. That's from like what two episodes ago. Um, yep, that's the one with the V pre-releases. Yep, V. Yep, yep. Uh, it also had Choi and Eric Nam. That's been strangely doing really well on uh, both YouTube and the audio front recently. Um, so yeah. Um, if, if so, once in a while, when we have a bigger K-pop act, our YouTube numbers we're now minorly hitting the algorithm, which is very difficult for videos that are like a, an hour thirty minutes plus, right? <laughs> but it's happening, so we we get a we get a lot of in, uh, impressions, and it's cool to see. Thank you for everybody who clicks on those videos thank without you, thank you. without seeing actually that they're like a movie length long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they stick around maybe. So extra shout out to you. Let me check out let me check let me check the um shoot, what's the word? Like retention rate on the Ah, uh, yes. That yeah. I don't think the retention is amazing, but some of y'all do stick around that I'm like I don't cuz like if okay, in all honesty, <laughs> On YouTube, it's just a picture of me, Doug, and Anita. Anita's a fucking flower. <laughs> and we don't do a lot of <laughs> cool editing. Like, let's be honest You here. know, sometimes... Okay, I do this. I I don't know if I've listened to a video, like, an hour and 30 minutes. But I've, like, long form for sure, like, at least 30 minutes, I put a video on YouTube and yeah. then just listen. Or, like, every once in a while, I like, go back for the visuals. But... Shout out. Shout outs to the people that have checked us out on YouTube. Okay, I'm looking at our retention rate. It is actually pretty higher. <laughs> it's actually kind of higher than our normal stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Um, yeah, so those were some of the most uh, popular episodes of Season 5. There's there's a question here. It says personal highlights of Season 5. I would probably just say all the New Jeans music, to be honest. <laughs> you I think- cannot say that. <laughs> it's, it's really gotten me back into the game. Fair. Same. I, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the covering the new gene stuff was good. Um, I like the flexibility we've had with uh, State of the Nation. Um, me too. I was going to mention that. Yeah. Yes. My yeah. personal favorite um, was the girl group simulator we did. <gasps> I heard of that oh too. Oh <laughs> Let's my revisit God. that. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that, that was, was so fun. That was such an accurate representation of a new goo girl group trying to make it, dude. It was so struggle sad. was real. <laughs> it was real. At some point, we had zero dollars. Actually, after week one, we had no money in our bank account, <laughs> yeah, dude. But we made it work. We made it work. We made it work. Um, yeah. I I do want to do that again sometime. I do. Uh, I I just oh need to God, find the simple crazy. way to do it. Cause, yeah. but I think like by the fourth time we did it. We had like two variables. There were random. It was too complicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. True. It was almost gotcha it, elements, you know. Yeah. Out of hand. All the way through. But um, I, I think also be, it would be cool if we had. I know we had some slight like um, listener interactions for um, on Twitter, was it? Um, that we had some people 
what? able to like sway some of the yes. outcome. Yes. I think it would be cool if we could do that maybe a little bit more easy for people that are not on like maybe like on the Discord or something. But yeah, I think it'd be cool to revisit that game. I would also love in season six if more people send us questions for for us to talk about at the end of the show. Yeah, we can open up Q and A's. This is this mm-hmm. is true. Um a lot I think of some of our best discussions is when that happens. Yes. I still remember the first time we did this visual format of Slay the Nation, and the question was, "Who? What is your current K-pop Mount Mount Rushmore?" Um, Ooh, and that was, I think, yeah. one of the better discussions we had uh, 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 for the That's entire true. run. Um, so, I, I sometimes uh, they'll come in through uh, crew questions. Sometimes they'll just be on Soldier Talk Talk. Uh, some please tag me in them. I, I try to go through all the messages on that channel, but sometimes. People get confused and Same. leave random mm. comments there, and I kind of lose track. So, yes, please send us more comments or questions, and uh, we will try to uh, go through them. Or email it to us, DM it so to me. Podcast oh, yes. at gmail.com. Our, all of our infos are in the YouTube description. Um, yeah. All right, where do we go from here? Do we go on forever? All right, let's put it this way. <laughs> Everything has an end, right? Um <laughs> You know, at some point in the future, something might come up, or we might someone might have a lifestyle change, or something like that. A where things change. have to end. Are you gonna join yeah, a life blue, event? Are you gonna join like a cult? Like, what do you mean, like a life event? No, no. All I'm saying is, like, no. if one of us gets extremely busy with certain things in life, we've all made things the happen. agreement okay. that yeah. it's all three of us, or it's none of us. That is the agreement yeah. we have made. Yes. Um, yes. And anyone can pull the plug at any point if they feel necessary. This is also that true. That is the yes. other thing we've said. Um, yeah. It'll happen at some point. As of now, I'm actually, I think all of us are looking pretty forward to season six at a minimum, which is a yep. good thing for all of you because it means we're going to be around for a little bit longer. At least. Um, there were certain times when we were all kind of feeling meh about podcasting and K-pop where we had the discussion, right? We, we had minor discussions. Happens, yeah. We were very close, like we a little over close. a season ago. A little over a season ago, we said, let's do 10 more episodes and reevaluate. And we actually never had that reevaluation talk. I don't no, think. we forgot about it. I wonder what happened. It. You yeah, know what? Really okay. Do you know why that conversation never happened? Why? Because it, it new jeans? It, it honestly was. Because it was like a month <laughs> or two before we hit episode 200. And That's when true. we were collecting feedback for episode 200 and the Q&As and all that, I felt kind of bad. And I felt like I needed to make it really big and grand. Because Dude, I was like... Also, I remember this. We said, maybe we should just end at 200. That, that was a yes, discussion. Yes. And I yeah. felt so bad. And I was like, but oh, man. Here we are. I got to make it grand and big as much as possible because this might be the last thing we do. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then but attention dropped. If we think about wow. season four to season five versus season five into season six, we are way more happy with what was going on right now, for sure. Um, it's more yeah. interesting. Yes. We're never going to tell you exactly more when fun. it's going to end, but we will definitely have a goodbye episode. We're not just going to stop producing content. If we end it, you will know. Like, you will know. <laughs> there will be a goodbye episode. We've said this. We're going to have a PC goodbye episode. You know, like, oh, let's remember this. Uh, and then we're going to have an unhinged live stream no. we're gonna give us our real th- we're gonna give you our real thoughts on things <laughs> like we've oh, no. Mart and I had this agreement for like a year or two now no, right? no 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 here's the thing here's the thing it's this is not this is not a situation ship this is a stable relationship where it's over you will know we will hint towards <laughs> it it will be very clear that the train is coming no ghosting here yeah. so no, we'll, no. We'll, we'll let you know then we'll have the nice goodbye episode for the podcast and then Maybe a week or two later, we'll have a live stream. It's going to be bananas, y'all. Man. But for the time being. <laughs> for the time being, none of that's happening. Well, good. Yeah. And for don't the- tell us. Please end the show so we can see that live stream. No. Do not tell us this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, th- that will not happen for the next, I don't know, at least 50, 100 episodes, I think. Okay. Upcom- lastly, upcoming for season six. So we are having about a month break. Um, I don't go on my vacation mm-hmm. for a while. I, I am going to... Uh, well, I've told Warren Anita, I'm going to be thinking about new ideas for the pod. I will additionally yeah. make a viewer promise right now that I'm oh. not going to say oh. hot, tech, hot Take Harold will be back in any way, shape, or form. But in, but in season six, I will say it publicly. I'm going to say ridiculous takes next season. Oh, my God. I'm I am scared. going to <laughs> say crazier stuff than I've been saying in season five. I had so oh much boy. fun last night with the... The, the live stream thing that we did where I was a little more loosey-goosey that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say stuff <laughs> okay next, you, next time. you know what I will mirror you on that you know how I used to swear oh, a lot on the show head. yeah we're just gonna do it I fe- I feel 
like once I toned that down a whole bunch, I became you the. You told me this. You said I'm not funny anymore. I was like, I I'm just a boring guy who like yeah. name drops <laughs> different genres and instruments. Like I, I don't want to be that guy. You know what I mean? Um, yes. You can be that guy and no, still no. funny. Like, no, okay. Mark messaged no. me once and he said, "Am I still funny?" <laughs> he messaged me something like this what? one, and I'm like, "I think you're funny." He's like, "But you, you're the you're like the the main MC, so you have high energy." But if I'm not saying crazy stuff, I don't feel like I'm being funny. That's like, basically uh, what you told me. I was like, I, was like yeah. I have to like, no. there, there was a huge dilemma. I've talked about this multiple times yeah, in the last yeah, couple of seasons. This. I was like, I gotta like, an, I, I, I felt like I had to analyze a song and like be like yeah. really respectful towards it. More serious. Right. Yeah. But like, then again, like, it's not really who I am as a human being. <laughs> so like, yeah, so we're, uh, they could like, be a mix. Yeah. Season six, I think, in order for us to be sustainable in the long run, we're gonna we're gonna get a lot more comfy, guys. I might I've debated even <laughs> starting to have a like a a hand mic and start walking around while we're doing. <laughs> it. All right, I don't know about that. <laughs> I I'm considering it because I think ideas be are being thrown out there. Even, I'm gonna throw so many ideas at Warren and Anita during this uh during the break. That it's going to be pretty interesting. Additionally, if you're on our Discord or in the YouTube section or Twitter or email, let us know if you have any suggestions or potential things you would want to see on the pod. Um, for you want yeah, to know your might, feedback? It might stick. For mm. maximum viewership and guarantee that Doug, Anita, and I are going to see it, leave it on crew questions or suggestion box. Or um, Soju Talk Talk, because I look at that every day, you know, somewhere yep, like yep. that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're actually like a relationship now. You know how like after a couple of years, <laughs> you're not like super well dressed. I'm serious. In, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like we're chill. I've seen you in your pajamas Committed. without makeup. It's it's fine. It's okay. You know what I mean? I mean, hey, if I stand up and I start walking around over the pod, I gonna have to start putting on pants every weekend, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to wear underwear, dog. What do you I'm mean? Have to wear pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all I'm saying is, I, for season six, we're gonna, we're gonna. I'm not gonna say we're not gonna cover. Like, we're gonna be more casual. We're gonna tell you what we actually feel. It's gonna be a lot less. Uh, I wouldn't say the podcast has ever been scripted, but it's like pushed. You know, Structured. we push towards a certain yeah. structure mm -hmm. or format. I want to be loosey goosey in season six. <laughs> there's, there's That's a, a keyword. There's always a fine line, right? There's yeah, always a fine sure. line between delivering information, analysis. And then there's a fine line between um, being entertainers. We try to do that, right? We, there's 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 a, f a very fine line between that, and there's also this other fine line of if you go too far, you're going too far. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Like we'll try to toe that line as best as we can. Yes. Um, yes. You can't say yes, pink guy players and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like. Oh my goodness! Oh my Let's not talk about the pink guy players. Um, <laughs> no, no, but like you no, know, no. we're looking for suggestions for changes. One of the changes we made most recently that I could think of is in the news section. I post the I show the articles. I've liked that change. That's fun. I think yeah. that's fun. Yeah. More to do that. It, it makes our podcast have a more visual aspect, even mm -hmm. though it doesn't hurt the audio listeners at all, right? So I think that's been a very good change. But we might make a couple changes like that going forward. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, we, anything else to say, guys? We talked about Warren? this very briefly, um, mm. but I, I have, and I mentioned this like uh, a couple, a long time ago. So I, I feel bad for like saying it again. So no guarantee on any of this. But we briefly talked about expanding into YouTube. Um, there's oh, right. tools that help us do that. Um, I was talking about this with a friend, right? Because he is a Twitch streamer. And he mm. is hiring a friend to help him do these things, um, and uh, and and he is able to afford all of that. Um, editing a, uh, sorry, getting a editor to like do mm. these, it's a lot of time and effort. Um, get doing it myself. That's also a lot of time and effort. Like I'm, I'm balancing like a forty hour full time job. So is Doug. Yeah, so so Anita. Yeah. What Warren's talking about is like making smaller form YouTube content based on the actual pod. Because it'll hit the algorithm harder, things like that. Right? Well, that too, but it's also a more digestible way for consuming our content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're we're hard to digest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. At the end of the day, <laughs> like we are an hour plus format of a show. Um. So, um. That is something we are exploring. That is something I kind of want to actually explore in in this upcoming season because there are tools that'll help us do that a lot faster these days. Right. Um. Technology. What do you know? Um. So I think that <laughs> that's personally something I'm interested in. Um. Yeah, we'll see what happens with Doug's it. little format updates. Um, I don't know. Um, 
Man, yeah. I'm just trying to be comfy in season six. Comfy. Oh, you're wearing a fake tuxedo. Goosey so. goosey. I'm wearing a f- dude. I'm gonna start wearing sunglasses. I'm gonna start like sunglasses. wearing bathrobes and smoking cigars <laughs> over here, dude. In season <laughs> six, dude. What? don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna pop the bubbly, man. It's gonna be great. Oh. Drunk episode? Actual soju time. <laughs> it might happen. Drunk episode? <laughs> for for what? for a podcast named Soju Talk. Bro, I don't like drink we're, anymore. We're TV. very oh my God. <laughs> Yo, boring. I had a I had a fluid incident last night. Um Wait, what do you mean? You okay? I'm f- uh, okay, I'm okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, what didn't pee the, I didn't pee the bed or anything. I my normal cold brew that I buy at the grocery store was out, so I bought a different brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And before we record, I was like, I'm a little tired. I chugged a bunch of cold brew. Oh, I was no. up to like three in the morning wrong? last night, dude. Dude. I and mean, I had a he- I had a headache because I, I looked at screens either. a little bit too much yesterday. I was my head was throbbing and I couldn't oh. fall asleep for like three hours last night. It was a Dang. mess. Damn. Okay. I was so hyped up about this XG thing, and I had chugged like way too much cold brew. Uh, and I don't, and I don't drink much coffee anyway. I was so up on caffeine all night. I'll be, I'll be honest. No. You were a lot more focused than you normally were yesterday. It was the caffeine. I, I've been doing. I've been. I'm not doing caffeine. It's not like a drug. I've been drinking a little bit more caffeine really? in the afternoon Thank lately. You. It's been, it's been uh, beneficial in many aspects. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. That's well. That's good because I struggle. With yeah. So caffeine. let us know what you think about potentially <laughs> us doing um making more digestible formats of the pod on YouTube. Uh, let us know what you think about potential changes, all that kind of stuff. Hey, um. Hey, before you wrap everything up, every one of you guys who who tune in, who, who listen in, whether this is your first time. Okay, if it's your first time listening, I don't know why you're listening to this. If it's your second time, <laughs> welcome. If it's your if it's your two hundred fiftieth time. Or whether it's anything Aww, in between. Man. I appreciate yeah. it. If you were here a while ago yes. and you stopped listening to us, I still appreciate that. We still appreciate that. you even we though you're not listening. It. Of course. We 100% yeah. expect that. Um, so, um, thank you. Yeah, thank if you, you were a listener back then, we appreciate you if, even if you're not here anymore. If you were someone who was notable on the Discord, even if you're just a lurker on the Discord, we completely appreciate you um, taking part in our community over there. It's been fun for the past five years. It's actually insane. Five years. If, if some of our listeners are like, like twenty, right? We've been going for Don't say that. Most of their lives. <laughs> that Think was around that. my age. Think about that. <laughs> yeah. You, you know what the weird thing is? Like, I've been like, like you know, I still meet new people and make new friends these days. And like mm. sometimes the conversation goes in a certain way. I'm like, yeah, like I've been, I'm doing this K-pop podcast, and they're like, oh, that's ni- that's nice. Uh, you know, uh, how, how do you mm. how do you do it? And I was like, I you know, I meet up with my friends over at Discord, and you know, uh, we talk for you know, uh, you know, for an hour or two. It's really fun. And he's like, oh yeah, like mm-hmm. uh, how long do you plan to do it for? And I'm like, I don't really know. And he's like, how how long have you done it for so far? And I'm like. <laughs> I think five years and five he goes years? why five years in how like that's longer <laughs> than college we're we're at the we're at the part now where it's like it's been really long like it's, it's insane. straight up longer than the american high school system that's four years Dang we're going into six yeah it's kind of insane um we're super right, super yeah. seniors now so just know we are completely thankful for Man. all of the Soju Talk Nation yes. that has been with us along the way. And we will do our best to provide you with more fun content in about a month when we come back <laughs> on uh, September 26th with episode we will return. 251 yes. and season six. We'll see you guys then. I am Doug. I am joined by Warren and Anita. We'll see you guys then, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you. Bye-bye. And here's an extra special shout out to all of our Fiesta Patreons on Patreon.com. Bagel, Charles, Cotton Ball, Del Manic, Ellie, Irv Tron, Gogu Mama, Honey Pool, Yokab, Liam's Games and Toys, Luke Daniel, NJ Park. Here, Sue Sumi. And thank you for joining Soldier Talk, the weekly shot of K pop. And special thanks to our Discord server mod, Jacob, K Music Air Day, 
Koala, Max, No Bias Luna, Tuggles, and Wolf Two Nine Seven.